right, so I'm gonna be trying out some propane accessories here. So we have this, which is basically a transfer, um, allows me to refill these smaller propane jars, okay? You can use it to refill the uh, disposable one pound ones, but I figured if I'm gonna be using this a lot, I bought these um, heavy duty expensive reusable refillable ones. Um, again, you can refill the other ones if you want, but these are uh, more heavy duty designed and if I overfill it, it's not gonna be as big of an issue because they're a lot more solid, okay? So I bought this with the on and off valve so I can um, turn it on and off and I can easily fill two containers. We got this valve. Um, this one though, so this allows me to use these smaller propane tanks where you would use the larger ones, but they didn't pack it very well and then it got some chips in here. I hope it's not going to be an issue. Okay, um, I did order a replacement. And then we got these refillable uh, one pound or they say 16.4 ounces. You're not supposed to fill them all the way to 100%. So yeah, all right, anyways, I already stuck it in the freezer and it's funny because that made the tape come off super easy. Okay, um, let's see, there's actually more tape this way as well. You can see it's sold as a set and it tells them not to separate it. It did also get damaged in shipping, but uh, hopefully that's not gonna be an issue. Okay, let's see if I can get this tape off as easily. Okay. Yeah, freezing it made getting this tape off really easy. Okay, so we'll take one out and you can see it got all scraped up and it looks like, oh, I guess you take this plastic off anyways. So this plastic piece comes off here. Read safety instructions before filling with propane. Okay, um, so they recommended putting it in the freezer to get it to fill better, at least on the instructions for the fill the fill thing, but here you go. Refillable, propane cylinder, durable, dependable, reliable. Caution, read safety instructions, made in Thailand. Flame King. Okay, here are the warnings. Flammable gas under pressure, leaking LP gas may cause, uh, I think LP means liquid propane, may cause a fire or explosion if ignited. Contact LP gas supplier for repairs or Disposal of the cylinder or unused LP gas for outdoor use only. Do not use or store cylinder in a building, uh, garage, or enclosed area. So you need to store this outside. Okay, customer warnings. Know the odor. If you hear or see smell leaking, okay, get away. Call fire department. Do not attempt repairs. Contact, caution your LP gas supplier to be certain it's purged. So you want to get rid of trapped air before the first filling. Okay, don't overfill the cylinder. Be certain the cylinder re requalification date is checked. Um, it's heavier than air and may settle in low places. While dissipating, contact with the liquid contents of the cylinder will cause freeze burns to the skin. Do not allow children to tamper or play with the cylinder. When not connected for use, keep cylinder valve closed. Self-contained odor cooking appliance shall be limited to a cylinder of 20 pounds capacity or less. Do not use store or transport cylinder where it would be exposed to high temperatures. Okay, the relief valve may open. Um, where is that? Uh, okay, do not use store or transport cylinder where it would be exposed to high temperatures. Relief valve may open, allowing a large amount of flammable gas to escape. When transporting, keep cylinder secured in an upright position with cylinder valve off. Do not remove, deface, or obliterate this label uh, to be refilled only by trained and licensed personnel. Never store a spare LP cylinder under or near a barbecue grill. Uh, never, what? Oh, never fill beyond 80%, okay. And they have the Prop 65 warning. Uh, brass material may expose you to lead, a chemical that is known to cause cancer. 
Okay, wash your hands after handling this product. Overfill can lead to a fire, vertical fill only. Fill only with Flame King approved filling device. Maximum propane capacity is one pound. Stop filling when liquid appears. When liquid appears, what? Not equipped with an overfill protection device for filling instructions approved. Okay. All right. So I think we read all of that. We have this plastic thing on top. And on top they taped, looks like they taped a tool. Okay. So we have this here, this little thing. Okay, and from what I read, um, okay, so we got all this tape everywhere. From what I read, does this screw? Okay, so this unscrews. Where's the, okay, so they have the valve things here. So from what I read, you're supposed to fill this and you like un untighten this. I'm surprised it didn't come with instructions, but you untighten this. Oops. I let some air in because I made this cold. So the pressure is pulling in. Um, interesting. Okay. So that's what the valve looks like. Uh, and this, if I'm not mistaken, is, uh, this is, if I'm not mistaken, this means it's open and this means it's closed. So I'm going to attach this to the propane tank and we're going to see about filling this up. All right, give me a second. I'll be back. All right. So first thing I'm going to do, get this tightened onto here. Okay. Tighten this up. Okay. So once we got that tightened up, we're going to get this attached to the big propane tank. Let me get this higher. Give me a second. I'll be back. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna attach this onto here. Okay, now that we have this attached, we're gonna flip the propane tank upside down. Okay, so this needs to be flipped upside down. Whoa, it's kind of heavy. While you have it upside down, um, now we're gonna un open up this valve okay you don't need to open it all the way but open it up this needs to stay vertical and now I don't know what you guys can see now we're gonna open this and you can hear it filling I hope you can hear it feel filling Okay. Once it stops, we could technically just close it, but this one has this little valve here, okay, that you can open. And then what they say is when you see um, the liquid propane coming out, that's how you know it's done. But honestly, I hear it stop, so you can open this. You see nothing coming out, it's just air. I'm going to close it up. Let it sit a little bit. Okay, let's open it again. Okay, I'm gonna close it. Honestly, I'm gonna say it's already filled enough. We're gonna close it. And I'm gonna test it with a barbecue grill real quick. So we're good. Let's go ahead and now, um, okay, make sure that's closed. We're gonna now close the vent or close this here. Okay. Okay. Clockwise all the way. The reason why I decided to close it is because I can already smell propane just opening that little valve. So I don't want to just keep bleeding out propane into the air. Let's go ahead now and take this out. Okay, there's some still in there, obviously. Oop, wait, this is closed. Okay, so we have to quickly take this out. Okay, so you saw the propane coming out. 
So we have to quickly take this off because it's pushing the thing to release it. Okay. I released a bunch of propane through taking this off. So you need to make sure to take this off first. Ah, high pressure. Okay, so after, I guess you can open this to let out any excess. And then we can undo this. There we go. <laughs> that's, that's the proper order. And so that means this probably actually will prevent this from coming out. Let's check. Yeah. Okay, so that should be fine if you closed. So it's more because the hose was pressurized. Okay, so sorry, I'm messing up I'm doing it. Okay, so once you're done, you close this valve, take this off, then you open this to let out any of the cold pressurized stuff, and then you can take this one out, okay? Because if you take this one out, I don't know if you saw, it blew out cold, icy, propane into my hand okay so because that happened I'm gonna wait a while for any propane to kind of air off before I start the grill up so I'll see you guys in a few minutes all right so let's go ahead and do this if you saw um, I did it the wrong way first <laughs> let's go ahead and do it the right way so we got this can that was sitting in the freezer we're gonna screw it onto this end Okay. Some people would say to purge the air first, but I mean, if there's a little air in the propane, it shouldn't be an issue. It's just you won't get as full of a tank. Okay, so we'll tighten this all the way on. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to take this, attach it to this end. Okay, make sure it's on there good. Now we're going to flip this upside down. And while it's upside down, we can open the valve. Okay. Make sure it's standing on its own. Now the valve is open, have this standing upright, and we'll open this up. I can hear the gas filling in. If you want to purge some air, once the gas stops flowing, you can open this little valve here a little bit. Okay, we'll let that go. Still filling. Let me go grab the Allen wrench real quick. All right, so. I don't hear it flowing anymore. So we're gonna do, we're gonna open up the valve here, okay? So just get the little hex key Allen wrench that it included, and we're gonna turn it counterclockwise. You can hear it leaking out air. Okay, and let it bleed out a little bit. It says to kind of let it go till liquid starts shooting out. but honestly, that's not really required because when you open your gas, um, this, it'll expand and push the air out. It's just your thing won't light right away if it's just pushing air. So yeah, after we bled it a little, we're gonna shut this. We're gonna take this canister off here. It might spray a little bit of the cold stuff out, uh, propane, so hold on to this, twist this. Depending which valve you got, it might open and close differently. Okay, so you can see it sprayed out some of the propane. That's fine. We'll set this aside. Okay. Next, we're going to flip this back over. Okay. Close this off. Hopefully you can see what's happening. Close the valve. Okay. Then you want to purge this line because you don't want propane still in there. So hold this, open the valve. Make sure this, this is closed. Yep. Okay. So purge. 
purge that line. Okay, and then you can take this off. And you should be good. All right, so that's pretty much it. Make sure, let this propane that kind of you purged out of the system dissipate for at least like, I'd say at least 30 minutes to be safe. You don't want any propane that's sitting around here. If you start your grill, you might <laughs> make a big explosion. So let that purge off and then we will use this. I'm gonna try it on a grill with the adapter. All right, I'll see you guys then. All right, let's test it out with the grill. Okay, I probably should have left one empty to see this one was the one I did where I um, let out the pressure the right way. This is the other one. This actually feels pretty light. You can hear liquid inside though. Okay, so we're gonna now go ahead and connect it to the grill. So we have the regular, the same thing as the other one. We're gonna attach this onto here. Is it going? Why is it not attaching? Come on. Attach this onto the adapter. Hopefully this adapter works. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't hook on. Okay, so I haven't tried this adapter, so maybe it doesn't work. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay, I had to push it down harder. Okay, there we go. Make sure to tighten it so I don't hear any leaks. Okay, tighten it on both ends. All right. And one thing with this, um, if you're worried about the butane or in this case propane leaking out and breathing it in don't worry too much as long as you get some fresh air you should be okay butane and propane isn't really um, toxic but it is heavier than air so it can stay in your lungs so you might want to stand on your head and breathe or uh, lay down so that the air the propane and butane or whatever you inhale can come out um, because it will displace the oxygen in your lungs and you can basically suffocate even though you're inhaling and exhaling Okay, anyways, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna open this and turn it on and see if it works, okay? Using the little tank. Okay, wait, so let me make sure I'm doing it the right way. Ignite, okay, so turn it on and it's working. Oh, I have to hold it, sorry. I forgot this grill, you have to keep holding it for like 15 seconds. Okay, and with the little tank, you can see it's on. You can hear it, it's blue. If I leave it longer, it will change color. I'm gonna let it burn a while just to see. Let me turn off the flash. There you go. And you can see it's working. I'm not sure how long of a burn time I can get on one pound of propane. Um, it's probably less than one pound <laughs> because I don't think I filled it completely especially since I didn't especially since I didn't um, uh, vent it till where the liquid started coming out so yeah all right so the proper way to completely fill it is you open the vent thing and while it's filling it'll spray out liquid propane that's how you know it kind of went up to the top all right but I didn't do that so this is just a low fill um, and as you can see it's working fine it's just it's not filled completely so we might not get a um, complete long like amount of burn time, but you can see it's working fine. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, because on these refill ones, the way it releases the propane is from the pin pushing into this little hole. So when we undo this, you actually want to always take the small tank off first. So it's probably going to spray out, uh, spray out some of the um, but, uh, propane. So <laughs> yeah, anyways, we're going to hold on to this one and we're going to undo the little tank. Okay, it did spray out a little bit. Okay, and then you can take off the bigger piece. The reason why you want to do it in that order is because if you take off just the big piece, um, this thing will still be pushing down, letting the propane come out and shoot out through this hole. So very important, you want to unscrew the small tank before you unscrew this big one. All right, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Oh, one other thing I didn't mention, you can store it with this thing on there. So just spin that on, 
And yeah, so that way nothing will push into that valve. All right, see you guys later again. Bye.